almost closing ceremony and the presentation afterwards. Good old Tommy Stur Spirantina to get things underway, and it's right, there's Ostergaard. Left-hand side, no fan. Amrabat. Was he meant? Blocked him off, played it back to the keeper. But if you're a defender playing again... Di Lorenzo keeps going, the captain! So much frustration over the years to see him get it right and the players get it right for him. James Richardson was saying earlier on in the campaign. Point Spalletti might just change. Fully aware of the occasion, what his players are dealing with, but still. Yeah, that's a shame for him, certainly. That's as well from uh, Amrabat. Great sportsmanship here. Yeah, you're right with the players they lost. It's been well documented. It felt like the end. And they will celebrate the Scudetto win for a long standing but Duncan makes a really good run run into the remembering ball. him Pino Daniele the writer of it who died in 2015 how but in reality it was the beginning of one and we weren't to know how good Kim's almost an afterthought albeit an afterthought between two very uh, fill in when asked to play a different role away from the searing soup he's just doing it on a consistent basis he hasn't exactly cut the fit contract with Fiorentina if you need after an hour 70 minutes to wait and see they take that big move when he left Frankfurt where he had one good season basically and then went to Real Madrid and Fiorentina the better side so far and even ever since that Lord has actually done well in Europe he did earlier on in the competition anyway football for a couple of years when he had his own farm or something they got lured back into it so it's a, it's a change team, some of the key players are playing and any confidence boost and I'm sure it'll be incredible joy of a, a presentation kit and get the idea, get a, the movement but the delivery was awful. <laughs> I'd watch his hammer back. Telling him to track back over and over. Yeah, where you could hear every word from the manager. Napoli did their best to almost hide the route by which they were getting free, got in the way there and then got out of the way. Amrabat. Ooh, but goodness me. Sit forward to begin this second half. First of all, let's hope for a goal, but straight away, Zielinski has just come on. Extremely well. But the two up front, Ozymen and Kavacelia are the two that always get... Kode, who's in and out, so too is Kawame. His attacking talents attacked by Mandragoran. Milenkovic was still there. George Best and Cristiano Ronaldo. That's one back by Lobotka. Now, was he foul? Penalty! Amrabat on Lobotka. Marchetti points to the spot. 23 goals in the season. We've had Etu, we've had Ware, we've got Osimhen, but he's missed. Terracciano with the save, but and here come Fiorentina. Sense that the win is there for them here. As Amrabat 
floated in again towards Gonzalez. Breaks now for Amrabat, and it's a good drive held by Golini. We briefly saw Rocco Camiso up there in the stand, who very graciously. Great to see him fit and firing again. Here's Amrabat. Sofiane Amrabat. Amrabat with a big let off after that silly challenge on uh, Stanislav Lobotka. Well, it might be a case of just uh, conserving Amrabat. We'll see how they're going to change their tactics, but he is such a good player all round. Except. from Ossiman. Just waiting for something to happen now. That's what Napoli have got to deal with. They've got to make it happen. Having missed that penalty, it puts everybody a bit flat. They've got to pick it up. I always think Ricardo Sapinara is a, an undervalued player as well as a sort of number. The Sotil really Sapinara for Amrabat's attacking.